Hello everyone, welcome back to Simple Stream Imagine. So I get to do this personality mask. It's just a little assignment for my AP Psychology class. The reason why I'm providing you all this wonderful video of me just painting a random piece of cardboard is because I tried to look on the internet to find some different ideas when trying to start this personality mask. I found a few image results on Google Images, but not really anything from Pinterest or YouTube videos just explaining what other people did for ideas. So I hope that this video comes in handy. Anyways, I started off with this mask and painted the lips bright red and then did some clouds. I actually never do a lot of clouds, so I kind of enjoyed that. And then this black band across the forehead, I will later add some white stripes to it. And then I'm just working on the eyebrows, you know, making sure they look nice, even, you know what I'm saying? And then it cuts to a later part where I added some more details. Obviously, I cut because I don't want my face to be exposed in the shot. But here I'm just doing some blood drips, you know, down the eyes, you know, a little creepy factor in there. Then I'm just doing, a, you know, a little fire effect, a little water effect on both of the eyelids. According to the rubric, I had to use a ton of symbolism. Now, that's the reason why I'm not using words or phrases to describe my personality, because that would just be an easy cheap shot. But we were allowed to use our Myers-Briggs 16 personality letters, and mine was ISFJ, in case you all were wondering. Also, if you guys are curious about what kind of personality you have, I will link the test in the description box below, and hopefully, you guys, you can check that out and learn a ton about yourself. For this project, I'm using acrylic paint by the brand Artist Loft, found in Michaels. I'm just going to begin and start explaining my symbolism. So first off, we have these nice little blue lilac kind of clouds. And basically it symbolizes that in my dreams, I do dream of flying, not me as a bird, but just flying in general. Next, we have this smaller symbol. It's basically like a drip from the lip. And this is kind of funny because it's um, pet peeve and one of my pet peeves is that people spray it instead of say it so if you guys don't know what that means that's basically when people spit excessively when they're talking the next symbol is china's flag pictured on the lips and this basically represents a past experience because if you guys have been watching my youtube channel for a little bit you would know that i did a series of vlogs of my trip to china last summer so that's why i included it and i also like the color red the next symbol is this philosophy symbol, at least I hope it is because I kind of did that last minute, but I just really enjoy philosophy and just talking and questioning existence. Moving on from that, it's going to be a little bit darker, but we do have blood drips from the eyes. Now this represents murder or passing into the next life, and basically I want to become an FBI profiler, hence criminal minds, hence psychology class. Aside from the point, it represents the fear of me not being able to provide closure for the victim's family, if that makes sense. On a happier note, we do have these streaks of paint. Now this just represents my hobby of painting. And then moving on to the other eyelid, we do have a ombre of blue. Now this just represents what I do in my leisure time. So for example, swimming with my friends. Next, we have this little snaky snake around the eyebrow. I honestly just wanted to draw it because it's looking nice, looking fresh, looking luxury like the Gucci symbol. And it's supposed to represent my fear of snakes. Though I don't really have a big fear of snakes, if you do throw a rattlesnake at me, I will scream and probably run away. So featured on the eyebrow, we do have these two golden streaks. Now that represents that I'm a second degree black belt in Taekwondo. Yes, I've been doing it a very long time. Between the two eyebrows, we do have this clock pictured. Notice how it's pointing to 3 o'clock, and we're talking 3 a.m. because procrastination is represented in this clock, and that's one of my downfalls, one of my weaknesses in my personality, because two occasions I have procrastinated enough to stay up until 3 a.m. to finish homework, and that was just for projects. On the face of the clock, we do have these figures. It just represents family in general because I love it so much. And we have this cute little coconut cartoon, and that represents my dog because his name is Coconut. Above the eyebrows, we do have this nice number two pencil, and this represents an aspiration I also have is to become a really good writer, maybe even a novelist, maybe even a best-selling novelist, who knows. And then on the other side, it's another career path that I might choose is becoming a lawyer or FBI profiler, just someone involved with the justice system. By the way, if you couldn't tell, that's just a gavel. I didn't really add the little poundy thing. My last symbol is ISFJ, and it's just showing the 16 personalities uh, letter combination that I got. Anyways, thank you for watching this video, and if you did enjoy it, please leave a thumbs up and a comment section in the comment section below, and I hope you all have a wonderful day.